quality and availability of medical care in an assignee's new home will often be a top priority for an expat planning an international assignment. How will I find a doctor? What language will he or she speak? Who can help me in case of an emergency? These are just only a few questions that may be on your mind. Kiev, Ukraine's capital, offers a mix of both public and private facilities with standards in the private sector that compare favorably with the most advanced practices in Europe. Healthcare providers who cater to the expatriate community in Kiev are primarily clinic-based. The city is also host to a private hospital, meaning that the majority of your medical concerns from routine care to emergencies can be adequately addressed through the private system. One of the more popular locations for treatment is simply called Boris. Boris offers everything on the menu, including both diagnostics and surgical treatment. It operates facilities on both sides of the Dniepro and has a state-of-the-art hospital on the left bank. Residents can even request a private Boris ambulance by dialing 2380000. Other clinics such as American Medical Center, Medicom, and Eurolab are smaller but also of a high international standard. Should a patient encounter an unusual health issue that cannot be treated in-house, clinic doctors will make a direct referral to either a government or private hospital. Legal residents of Kiev are covered by the national health care system, which is in addition to whatever insurance that they may have from other sources. State medical service models can be complex by design, even for locals with experience navigating the system. Throw in the fact that communication with the medical personnel at public institutions is near impossible without knowledge of Russian, and it's not surprising that most transferees rely exclusively on private health care. Employees associated with private clinics speak English, including the support staff, and the atmosphere is service-oriented. Uh, the staff in our clinic speaks uh, Ukrainian, Russian, and English. Moreover, there are experienced uh, translators in our medical center. Uh, they can help patients from English-speaking uh, or non-English-speaking countries. Everyone speaks English on staff, so we, although we're, most of our staff is Ukrainian, um, we have a French national, we have a, our chief medical consultant is British, uh, we have one American um, uh, psychologist on staff, um, and so we're speaking English, Russian, Ukrainian, um, French, obviously, and I think probably and we have one, sorry, we have one Peruvian family practitioner, so Spanish as well. Most private health care clinics will bill your insurance company directly, so there's typically no need to pay up front. However, in cases where procedures are not covered, do keep in mind that credit cards won't necessarily be accepted everywhere. I would say ensure that whatever insurance company you have, that they have a good directory of good facilities, um, that are of European or uh, you know, of a very high standard. It would be sensible if you lived here to have um, repatriation on your medical insurance or something where you can get medical back. Yes, yes SOS, whatever. International they all call it something else, but yes. if you had anything serious, personally, if there's anything seriously wrong with me, I'd want to be taken in, uh, probably to Austria or Germany. Um, but in terms of if you've got a child with a sore throat, uh, you know, it's been fine. I think one thing that you definitely have to do coming out here is to just know what you would do in a medical emergency. Have all your numbers handy and then, you know, just be able to, to know what would be your first step uh, if, if, for example, you were to have uh, an emergency. But, I, you know, I've been to the American Medical Center a couple times and, um, you know, they've been operative. My insurance was, was you know, it billed immediately so there were you know, no issues in, uh, in that sense. Emergency services are handled by both private and public hospitals. The general emergency number for Kiev is 03, and it's highly unlikely that operators will understand a language other than Russian or Ukrainian. Clinics have their own dedicated emergency numbers. Operators can call an ambulance on your behalf and arrange for a clinic doctor to meet you at the hospital. Pharmacies are plentiful in Kiev and easily identified by this word, aptieka. If you happen to be visiting the doctor, you'll find that private clinics often have small pharmacies on site. For anyone needing medication outside of the regular business day, after hours pharmacies are evenly distributed throughout the city. In general, expatriates are more than satisfied with the health care available in Kiev. If you are considering relocation and have specific concerns about the medical system, let MoveOne be your guide. Contact one of our specialists to ensure that you get all the answers you need.